What's going on everybody? I just thought I'd do a show about uh, Eva Marie. She is the topic of this show. I gotta go to work in about one or two hours. Uh, I think two hours. Anyways, I just thought I'd do a show early in the morning before I go to work because I just woke up and watched last night's NXT. I didn't watch it live because I wasn't home because I have a girlfriend now and I've had one for over a month or two months and uh, basically I gotta pay attention to my girlfriend and give up a couple nights of live tweeting wrestling sometimes not every week but I gotta give up and sacrifice uh, some live wrestling shows I won't give up pay-per-views and live tweeting pay-per-views to all my friends and followers but uh, NXT basically if it's not a live special I don't really, I'm not upset about missing it live if it's not a live special because I can go back and watch it anytime on the network because I have the network. So anyways, I woke up and uh, watched NXT probably 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. I watched the entire show. I think I skipped over, no, I didn't skip over anything. Anyways. I think I've fast forward through maybe a commercial or something, whatever. Who cares? So this show is about, after watching NXT and seeing Eva Marie come back out on, the, out on NXT, she came back, she was in France. They kept running video uh, segments with her in France saying, I'm coming back to NXT, I miss you all, which nobody that I know misses her in NXT or in the wrestling ring. Nobody misses you, Eva Marie. Get that through your thick uh, skull. But whatever. Writers in NXT, somebody told her to say that, I'm sure. But she gets a lot of hate. Eva Marie gets a lot, a lot of hate on Twitter, on social media, probably mostly by... Uh, probably the hate is probably by 90% men and I don't know how many females hate on her and dislike her. I'm sure a lot of females dislike her because they know she can't wrestle and she's just pretty awful in the ring. But this isn't a video to bash Eva Marie. I'm just, this video is the topic that I'm talking about is Eva Marie for champ and I saw a girl uh, I thought to do a show about this because I saw a girl in the crowd in NXT in the first row near the Iowa she had a sign that said Eva Marie for champ uh, I think that girl was she had to be 12 years old or under probably or maybe she was a teenager 13 or 14 that's still really young so whatever any person can like whoever the hell they want I don't care you can like whoever you want Eva Marie can be your favorite in WWE Eva Marie can be your favorite diva in NXT or in WWE but she's not on the main roster so I'll just say Eva Marie can be anybody's favorite in NXT if they like her that much which I don't like her and I'm not a fan of hers but I'm gonna try to not bash her and hate on her too much anyways Eva Marie the topic is Eva Marie for champ for NXT women's champion no way not gonna happen anytime soon I don't even uh, see WWE and the people in power in NXT, Triple H, I'm sure has the most power. And then there's a head writer of NXT. I'm sure he works closely with 
Triple H on future storylines and future opponents for Bailey the champion. Well, I don't see Eva Marie uh, even winning a championship in her WWE career. She doesn't deserve a title. She's not ready for a championship run or reign. Uh, she's damn sure not ready to be on the main roster. And I don't know if, if she ever will be, but then again, uh, the people that run the main roster, most notably Vince McMahon, he put Cameron on the main roster. He put her on TV on Raw and SmackDown in some matches when she was got off or not ready to be in the ring because Cameron needed way more training. And I also dislike Cameron, but who cares? This isn't a show about bashing her. Uh, basically, she got a contract because of her looks and because they wanted her on the show Total Divas. If there was no Total Divas, Cameron would probably be fired. Or at least I'd fire her. Because she's not a women's wrestler and she's no good at it. And I don't think she ever will be. But I'm done talking about Cameron. What the hell was I saying now? Eva Marie on the main roster, she would be awful. So she isn't going to be promoted to the main roster. Maybe WWE has plans for Eva Marie in 2016 to bring her to the main roster. I don't know and I don't care. And if they do bring Eva Marie to the main roster in 2016, I think it would be a big, big mistake. Because she's not ready for she's not ready to be on Raw and SmackDown or pay-per-views she's just not she needs uh, a lot more training but her match and again to go back to the topic Eva Marie for NXT Women's Champion people I know she has fans uh, mostly a lot of her fans, I'm positive, are not big, big wrestling fans and not hardcore wrestling fans. And Eva Marie fans are not big fans of women's wrestling. And if they are big fans of women's wrestling and Eva Marie's their favorite, well then they should go to the doctor and get their head checked. Or get a, a scan on their brain and find out what the hell's wrong with their brain. Because something's wrong with you. If you're a fan of women's wrestling and Eva Marie's your favorite, go get your head checked, please. Because I can name I can name nine or ten better women in WWE right now in NXT that are better than Eva Marie as a wrestler. Anyways, Eva Marie should not even get an NXT women's title shot. If she did if she does in 2016, I don't got a problem with that, but obviously I think she should lose and not win the title because she's not ready to be a champion. She can't carry, she won't be able to carry the NXT women's division if she is given the title. And I don't think Triple H is that stupid to uh, put Eva Marie as the NXT women's champion and as the face of in the top woman of his division. I don't know why Triple H would ever do that. I don't think he would. Because I'm sure he knows Eva Marie is not good enough. To be NXT Women's Champion right now. And I don't think she ever will be. But maybe maybe she'll prove me wrong. And she'll be way better in a year. I don't know. I'm just saying right now. Uh, right now, Eva Marie is not deserving or ready to get a NXT women's title shot. And she's not ready right now to carry the division and be a champion and defend it and uh, take on opponents and carry them in matches because a champion has to carry some of the matches and look good doing it. Bailey looks great 
in matches when she wrestles. She's great talent. Everybody knows that. Bailey's a great worker. She's a great wrestler. She deserves it because she's been in NXT three years. And she was on the indies before that for a while. I don't know how long. So Bailey definitely deserves what she has gotten. She deserves to be champion in the uh, face of the division of the NXT women's division. Bailey absolutely, positively deserves to be the face of the division because she's worked hard. She's busted her ass. She's gotten better and better in the ring. Uh, her character development has gotten better and better. And she's a great wrestler, great worker, great champion. Eva Marie is not a great worker. She's not a great wrestler. She Her character uh, sucks. Her character is just... I mean, all her promos and videos they do of her is just her saying, I'm the best and I'm coming back to NXT. Nobody cares and no, you're not the best and you never will be the best. In the WWE. So. I just thought I'd do a show about this. Because I saw that sign. That that girl had. In the crowd at NXT last night. Uh, it wasn't live. But it was taped probably three weeks ago. Or two weeks ago. And it said Eva Marie for champ. Well. Whoever made that sign, little girl, whatever, how old you are, I don't know. Eva Marie is not ready to become champion. And this is from me, a guy that has watched WWE since I've been three years old. This is from a passionate, hardcore uh, women's wrestling fan. I support women's wrestling. I love women's wrestling, especially when it's good, like it is in NXT. And Eva Marie, as champion, would just fuck all of that up and flush the entire NXT women's division down the toilet if she became champion. It would be awful. The championship matches would be bad. And she would be a bad champion because she doesn't have enough experience. And that's not her fault, really, because WWE has wanted Eva Marie. They want her to train to become a wrestler. She's gotten special one-on-one -on -one training from Brian Kendrick. Great wrestler, great worker. I'm sure he's a great trainer. But uh, Eva Marie is... I talked about in past videos. I've done Eva Marie injured Carmella. I believe gave her a concussion and a neck injury. So Eva Marie could uh, injure any other diva in NXT if she messes up and does something wrong in the ring. And she very well could mess up any time she's in the ring because she doesn't have enough experience. In her finishing move, Eva Marie should quit doing that. Uh, slice bread, number two, the slice bread that Brian Kendrick used to do. Eva Marie should quit doing that and quit using that as her finisher because she can't do it and she looks like shit trying to do it. And I don't know who the woman was that uh, Eva Marie worked against. If you hear background noise, I apologize. That's uh, the furnace kicking in and blowing heat into my house. So I'm sorry for that, but I'm sure you can still hear me. The woman that Eva Marie worked against last night, it was some blonde chick. I don't even know her name. I think the crowd was chanting Tori, Tori, so they must have knew her name. Because NXT fans are uh, very great fans. They know a lot of the indie talent that comes on the show. They know their names. They're great wrestling fans. But I don't know her name. I think it was Tori. Who knows? Maybe I heard wrong. Uh, it sounded like the crowd was chanting Tori, Tori. Anyways, the woman that worked with Eva Marie looked damn good. She looked like she had a lot of talent. 
maybe the WWE will sign her. I don't know where she came from. I don't know if she's from the Indies. I don't know if she tried out for WWE at a, a tryout, at a three-day tryout at the Performance Center. I don't know that. Maybe WWE signed her to a developmental deal. I don't know. But the blonde chick, Wrestling Eva Marie, I was pretty impressed by her. She had some good moves that she did. She did that uh, Matrix move that Trish used to do. She flipped back and did a handstand on her hands. That was impressive. And Eva Marie against this woman last night, she looked a little bit better in the ring, a little bit, tiny bit improved, but not that much. And of course, she won. But who gives a damn? Because that means nothing, really. Hopefully, uh, I f freaking pray that WWE does not give Eva Marie a women's title match at the next TakeOver special because that'd be, that'd be absolutely god-awful and just not... Eva Marie's not ready to get a title shot and she's not deserving of it. So hopefully the next NXT TakeOver Live special, they go with Bailey versus Emma for the title or Bailey versus... Uh, Asuka for the title or Bailey versus Dana Brooke. I would be fine with that for the title. And uh, uh, just my impression of Eva Marie, she looks like maybe she enjoys wrestling and enjoys training and getting in the ring and getting better and better. I don't know. But to me, it seems like Eva Marie does not want to be in the ring and is just and just wants a job with WWE to become famous, to get fame and fortune and uh, kick off her, start her acting career by hanging on the WWE's coattails. And then basically, I don't think Eva Marie will even be in the WWE in two or three years. I'm sure... She'll want to leave when her contract's up. She'll want to leave and go try to act and get movie roles. I just, I don't think, this is my opinion, I do not think Eva Marie loves the wrestling business. I don't think she loves wrestling. I don't think she grew up watching it. Maybe she did, but I'm sure she wasn't a hardcore fan growing up watching it. She probably watched a little bit. And then grew out of it and stopped, like a lot of people I know. Anyways, it's just my opinion. Eva Marie looks like when she's in the ring and NXT looks like she has no passion, does not want to be there, and is just staying in WWE to be on Total Divas, a reality show, and to get fame and fortune and get famous and then get movie roles. And uh, just some future total or past Total Divas shows, Eva Marie, they even showed who her manager was, her agent. It's The Rock's ex wife, is Eva Marie's agent, and she's already trying to get her in movies, in movie roles, and TV shows, and acting roles. That's all fine. She can act all she wants while being under WWE contract, but. I still feel deep down in my heart that she doesn't have the passion to be a wrestler and doesn't want to be a wrestler and doesn't want to be the best female wrestler in NXT. I mean, Bailey has that passion, you can tell by just watching her and how seeing her in interviews on Breaking Ground. She's talked about how she's wanted to be a wrestler since she's been 10 years old. She's dreamt about it being a champion in WWE. So it's obvious that Bailey wants to be there and she wants to be the best in the goddamn world. The best, one of the best female wrestlers in NXT and all of WWE. Sasha Banks also wants to be the best in the world. 
in WWE. She was also in NXT for a long time. Uh, I can go on and on who female talents that want to get better and be the best in the company and the best female talents in the company. Charlotte, Emma, uh, even Dana Brooke probably wants to become the best someday. She looks like uh, I feel that Dana Brooke does have the passion to be a wrestler, you know, a, di a diva, wrestler, diva, whatever. Uh, in my opinion, uh, being a wrestler is more important than being a diva. If you want to be a diva, fine, but you're just there basically for fame and fortune. I just, uh, and then Cameron, but this video isn't about Cameron, but she returned and they put her on NXT for some reason, but uh, it was a good reason because they fed her to Asuka and Asuka destroyed her and defeated her and Cameron tapped out to Asuka. That was great to see and I enjoyed that. Cameron, she looked a tiny bit better in the ring, but she's a jobber in my opinion she is a jobber and Cameron and Eva Marie they uh, they're in the same boat in my opinion they both don't really have the passion to be the best in the world in my opinion the best female wrestlers in the WWE they don't have the passion to be the best and if they told me to my face that they are in WWE because they want to be the best female wrestler in the company I would tell them you're lying because I wouldn't believe that anyways my thoughts Eva Marie for NXT Women's Champion hell no not this year hopefully she doesn't get a title shot at the next NXT TakeOver and in 2016 hopefully Eva Marie doesn't win the title because she's still would not deserve it in 2016 she needs to keep training and training and training if she really wants to be a wrestler if she really loves this business and what business am I talking about I'm talking about professional wrestling business WWE if she really loves getting in the ring then in 2016 she'll keep training she'll keep training like a crazy woman and she'll probably get better by next winter and next fall Eva Marie will probably improve a lot if she really wants to be a wrestler and to be one of the best then hopefully she'll get better and she didn't as I said she didn't look awful in her match last night but she didn't really do much of anything uh, she really didn't do anything that impressed me at all so Eva Marie, for champ, no way, I don't think so. And I don't think it will ever happen unless I see her improve and get way, way, way better in the ring than somebody could talk me into that Eva Marie deserves to get a title shot and be a champion. If she improves a lot, then I believe that she's deserving of being NXT Women's Champion, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video and my thoughts on Eva Marie for Champion. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you watched, follow me on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy and at NXT WWE Guy. Have a good uh, Thursday and Thursday night. Bye for now.